Wazer is the first desktop watershed cutter. The compact, affordable, digital tool for making precise parts in any material. That's the pitch, essentially. Cuts everything. <laughs> Industrial water jets cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. They would fill a small warehouse, essentially. Need trained operators. And it would use all the power you had. Ways your desktop could plug into a standard household outlet. It allows small manufacturers to solve hardware problems, develop new technologies, because they can make parts in-house. There's a wide need for this. The way it kind of started was at an automotive competition around gas-powered race car at UPenn. I joined the team as a freshman. I found a, a cohort of engineering friends that were also really into design and manufacturing. We worked hundreds of hours together on those cars. And that's when I first met Matt, who's now my co-founder here at Wazer, and our two founding employees, Dan and Christian, were all on that team. You learn how to work together really well. We spent a lot of late nights in the shop. There's a mismatch between the tools that we had available to us as students and then what engineers design and manufacture with in the real world. And so for my senior design project, I led a team of five students and we said, hey, let's build a small water jet for Penn's machine shop. And so that's when we built the original prototype back in 2012. How does it work? It's technically high-speed erosion. It combines pressurized water mixed with abrasive particles, injects that slurry down into the workpiece. Very controlled, focused, high-speed erosion. One of the fortuitous things that happened that was my student partner from the Senior Design Project, Adam, he created a video sort of documenting the project, posted it on YouTube, and somehow Hackaday found out about it. Hackaday is a wonderful group of people who like to sort of get into how stuff works, how can we push it, what can you do next? They wrote an article about our senior design project, and we started getting emails from people, hundreds of emails. The comment section essentially blew up. Like, I want this. When is this coming to market? Saying, oh, you guys got to commercialize this. This is awesome. I need this. It was nowhere near market ready. Pax ran a hardware focused investment program for early stage startups from all over the world and brought them together to their facility in Shenzhen. It was pretty quick turnaround. Called Dan and Christian and said, hey, do you want to come with us? That was the beginning. It's pretty good. It's a full system. The primary purpose was to be able to convert your hacked together prototype into a manufacturable product at scale. It was just such a good fit. Part of the fun of a startup is that you also have to build a company while you're also building a product. The plan was, okay, let's go back to the States. Let's, let's launch this Kickstarter campaign. The Kickstarter also kind of expressed just how big the market was for this type of a tool suggesting just how universal a tool this might actually be. It lets you iterate in your final materials and get parts that you can actually use. We're giving single person garage businesses an advanced manufacturing tool, letting them solve problems in the real world. At the same time, we sell to every industry in the manufacturing sector, SpaceX and Tesla, aerospace and automotive, industrial automation, robotics, equipment manufacturers, but then glass artists, jewelers, sign makers. We haven't seen that with other of the desktop digital manufacturing tools uh, that have such breadth like this does. It's for every shop.